More calls for independent probe into corruption claims. Mother freed of drug trafficking charge. City Hall to tackle multi-billion dollar debts. And CGX to start drilling soon. And this is Uncut News. Do you see news happening? Send us a tip on WhatsApp at 592-659-6151. Deputy Speaker of the House Lennox Schumann is calling for external police assistance to help the cops investigate Detective Dion Bascom's claims. In a post on his Facebook page, Schumann said, quote, It is my humble view that to shed any and all doubt of the integrity of the good officers of the GPF, the public personality, and to reinforce the GPF's findings, the GPF should ask the ABCEU to assist with the investigation via the FBI, RCMP, and or Scotland Yard. End quote. Bascom's claims have raised questions about the need to provide him with protection under the Protected Disclosures Act. The government has not yet acted on this. Attorney Nigel Hughes, who is representing Police Sergeant Dion Bascom, is calling on the Minister of Home Affairs to establish the Protected Disclosures Commission in keeping with the Protected Disclosures Act of 2018. Under the Protected Disclosures Act, which was passed under the previous administration, the Commission is responsible for receiving and investigating disclosures of improper conduct in public and private sectors. This has yet to be done. Hughes argued that given the gravity of Bascom's claims, the position he held within the force, and the real threat that exists to his life, he should not be castigated. Rather, he needs to be considered a whistleblower, and as such, is entitled to protection. Hughes warned that failure to act would result in legal action. According to the education minister, one teacher has been charged with illegally collecting one of the school child cash handouts. Yesterday, Minister Manakchan said, quote, we have had to call in the police in at least two instances, and I believe in one of those instances, a person is actually charged for receiving the grant when he was not entitled to or authorized. End quote. According to a report, an envelope went missing after a teacher signed for the parent and collected the grant. The parent later showed up and could not get the grant as someone had already signed for her. It was not mentioned whether the money was recovered. Now it's time to tell you about Best Buy's car of the week. Currently on sale, this is 2016 Suzuki Jimmy Sierra four-wheel drive. It comes with regular and low-range four-wheel drive, Bluetooth, mug rims, new tires, TV, CD, stereo, fog lamps, buck camera, and much, much more. Buy cash for $3.4 million. All pay as low as $700,000 down, with around $67,000 a monthly for five years, and it is yours. Call or WhatsApp 662-0844 for more info. Or visit the showrooms in 171 Peter Street, Queenstown. A lot to Lama Street. And tell them the Rico Century for this sweet deal. In 2019, Valencia Carmichael, a 39-year-old mother of six, was sentenced to three years in prison after she pleaded guilty to trafficking 848 grams of cannabis on April 18, 2019. The weed was found in a barrel at a home where Carmichael, along with other occupants, stayed. However, she was freed today as her attorneys appealed her sentence. Her attorneys argued that the magistrate failed to consider the unambiguous and voluntariness of Carmichael's plea. Carmichael said she only pleaded guilty because the police had her children in custody and she wanted them free. In 2019, Carmichael was arrested as part of an operation that netted her and 10 others in Burpees over alleged drug charges. Chetty Jagan has received two additional air bridges to be installed by September. The addition of the air bridges now makes it possible for the airport to accommodate Code D and E types of airplanes, which are the largest classes of commercial airliners. So the next time you travel, you'll have a lesser chance of getting rained on when you board your flight. Good stuff. According to the police, it was actually five bandits who carjacked the taxi driver early Thursday morning. They added that four of them were arrested, and they are also claiming that it wasn't just one victim, but actually five. These people were on a robbery spree, apparently. They allegedly robbed four persons and then hijacked one man's car. The five were identified as 18-year-old Emmanuel Hale, 32-year-old Hamza Samuels, Raul Franklin, Andrew Newyear, and Romario Hudson. Hale and Samuels were questioned by investigators on Friday and confessed their involvement to a series of robberies spanning the length and breadth of Georgetown and its surrounding environs. Meanwhile, Andrew Newyear has since died of gunshot wounds he sustained in an alleged shootout with the police. The sharp rise in the cost of living worldwide has not escaped Guyana. Consequently, for the first six months of this year, GBTI achieved an increase of 84% in its net profit after tax totaling 1.5%. 
1.63 billion Ghana dollars. GBTI's total assets also grew by 14% to $159 billion, with deposits reaching a total of $135 billion. GBTI's improved performance was influenced by inflation, aggressive loan collection, an increase in commercial lending, especially in the construction sector, and an appreciation of the Guyanese currency on the local market. So, you need parts for your truck and you looked your eyeballs out and can't find it? Did you check Powered Automotive? Get high quality DAF, international, great liner, Bedford TM, or Scammell truck parts at the lowest prices at Powered Automotive. Visit them at Lot D1161 EE Eccles or call them on telephone number 6970171. Save big on truck parts at Powered Automotive, the number one heavy duty truck parts store in Guyana. Today, Mayor Ubraj Narine said that the Georgetown City Council has commenced repaying almost 28 years of missed payment owed to the NIS. The payments were not made since 1994 and accrued to almost 500 million Ghana dollars. When questioned as to why it got this big, Narayan said, quote, I was three years old in 1994, so I can't say why. I came and met these liabilities. The council has made a decision that we have to do something about it so that the staff here can receive their right benefit from NIS. End quote. The council and NIS came to an agreement where two months' payments will be made simultaneously, the current month and one month outstanding. Meanwhile, the council is also seeking to resolve nearly $1 billion in debt to the GRA. There are currently 2,098 migrant students enrolled in public schools in Guyana, according to the coordinator of the Ministry of Education's Disaster Risk Prevention and Migrant Support Unit, Ms. Rampati Prashad Bisno. Many of these children journeyed to Guyana from neighboring Venezuela with their parents and have since settled in a number of regions, especially in regions 1, 2, and 7. Now for today's oil update. A semi-submersible drilling rig is confirmed for exploration operations offshore Guyana in the fourth quarter of this year. The rig is scheduled to be in Guyana on contract with CGX Resources Incorporated from October 22nd to January 23rd of next year. It will be targeting the Way 1 Exploration Well, located approximately 14 kilometers northwest of the Kawa 1 Exploration Well in the Quarantine Block, which is approximately 200 kilometers offshore from Georgetown, Guyana. CGX and Frontera Energy had pushed back the expected drilling date while announcing a deal they made for Frontera to farm into the license. It might not be robbery season, but the streets are still mean. That's why you need to get security for your home and business through Sheriff Security Service. Sheriff Security offers well-trained guards, armed and unarmed patrol, marine patrol, canine services. These people even got drones. Why? Because your security is their highest priority. You've seen the rest, now hire the best. Hire Sheriff Security Service today. Now for our uncut news, viewers poll question of the day. Every day we pose a question about current events in Ghana, the region, the diaspora, and how you feel it plays to us. Yesterday, I asked, how do you feel about Trinidad's interest in Guyana? Adrian Jumon says, it reminds me of a meme where the guy who won the lotto wore a mask. Oh, do you mean this guy? Ha! Anyway, you are only needed when you have something to give. When you are down, no one helps. But when you are doing well, everyone knows you. No money, more problems, more friends that want to use you. Sad but true. Maria Vera said, excellent piece as usual. Thank you, Maria. On Trinidad's interest, we don't really have a choice in the matter. We need all the help we could get. But I'd always caution to sleep with one eye open. I agree. Mott says, right now, it doesn't matter who is showing interest in the oil sector. I think the governments of Ghana need to look at the way these countries are handling their economy with the presence of oil and take a page out of their book. Don't make the same mistakes they are making. I also agree with that one. And finally, Fiery Knight just says, Trini just wants to get in on our money. So, before we get to tonight's question, you can multiply your cash by selling digital top-up. This is a legit way you can earn some extra money at your business or to supplement your current hustle. Become a top-up vendor quick and easy by linking with Cellular Plus. Call them on telephone number 6853109 for more info. Now for tonight's question. There is a terrible stigma in this nation regarding people who have served a prison sentence. How can we better integrate them into society after they've been in prison? Dropping said stigma is a start, but honestly, I want to hear from you. I want you to think about that question and tell us in the comments below. If your response is good enough, we just might feature it in Monday's episode. Anyway, that's all the time we have for tonight, and check us out on Monday for another. Until then, I'm Rico Bullford saying, have a great weekend, and as always, don't drink and drive, or you'll end up on Monday's episode the hard way. Ha ha! Good night, folks.